Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I'm Monica and you are watching Mississippi Glam. Happy Monday. I hope you guys had a wonderful Valentine's Day. I did. I had a, a great Valentine's Day. I think the kids had a great one too and all their little candy and they brought me home some candy and some cookies. So uh, I definitely had um, a very great day and a lot of sugar, okay? Um, but today we are going to start our Monday off with a little makeup review. And today I'm actually going to review a foundation. Uh, my friend Lisa recommended it to me and we're going to try it out. So we are going to test out the L'Oreal 24 hour infallible total coverage foundation. She sent this to me, she tried it out herself, she didn't have much luck with it, so she was kind of hoping maybe I would have some luck with it. Um, I have not tested this out, I have seen it kind of circulating around, you know, the tube and the gram and stuff like that. Um, and I have seen it in the store, I watched a couple of videos, kind of mixed reviews. I think it honestly, that's with any foundation, any product, it just depends on you, your skin type. Um, etc what kind of coverage you're looking for but today we're actually going to try this product out with uh, two techniques one being a brush and one being a, a beauty sponge so if you guys want to test this product with me then keep watching okay I pulled my hair back out of my face so I can actually see what I'm working on today we are going to be trying out two techniques we're going to be trying it out with a brush and we're going to be trying it out with a beauty sponge so I have dampened the beauty sponge already, so I'm just going to set that to the side here, and we're going to work with a brush. This is a um, Real Techniques uh, foundation brush, so we're going to see how it how it goes on with that. So let me get the stuff. I'm telling you, like just listening to it, it sounds like concrete, you guys. Okay, and I don't even I'm not even sure if this is my shade. This is classic ivory, which I wear in most other shades, but. The packaging is so misleading, guys. I mean, like, it's really misleading. So I'm not even sure. Oh, I'm very nervous about trying this out. So I'm just going to squeeze some on the back of my hand. Ooh, it's thick. Okay. Ooh, my goodness. Yeah, look how thick that is. It kind of sort of looks like a pile of poo. Yeah, I know. Okay, so I'm just going to... Ooh, okay, I'm not liking this. This is... This is definitely weird. Okay, so on one side of my face, I'm going to apply it with the brush, and the other side, we're going to try it with the uh, Beauty Blender. Now, because I have seen and heard some other people say that you need to work quickly because it does dry pretty fast, we're just going to work on one side of our face, and then we'll go on the other side um, and work on that. So I'm just going to... Oh my, I don't like this already. I'm just going to kind of just dot it on my face, where I'm going to be working. This is... Yeah, I, I mean, this could be the best foundation ever, but first impression, like, I'm a little nervous, okay? I'm just nervous. Okay, get that all smeared off there. All right, so we're going to go in with our brush. Just going to kind of bounce it on that leftover bit on the back of my hand. And we're just going to start stippling it in. I don't know, I haven't used a brush in quite a while. I've been really loving... Uh, my beauty sponge so I've been sticking to that so who knows this might be this might be a game changer for me oh. okay so first impression with getting close up and looking in the mirror not too bad the color I do think it is a little light for my shade and I'm very pale I don't have any of my tan left over from the summer, like not even a little like wink, not none of it. Like it, it's just all gone. Okay, so kind of buffing it in here. I'm not sure. Got a little bit left over on this side. Personally, me, I kind of like a little bit more, I don't know, coverage of the product, but especially like on my forehead stuff, I feel like I should have just put a little bit more, but we don't want to go too crazy with this. Okay, so 
I think the side of her face is pretty good. And I did apply the same primer that I wear in all my videos that I like just rave about, which is the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. I love this one. Um, I am planning tomorrow to actually go and uh, try another one of their primers. So I did apply that one. And just upon closer inspection, which I know you guys are not going to be able to see very well, um, it doesn't look... It doesn't look bad, but it does make my skin already look a little dry. So, I don't know about the whole brush thing, but we applied it with the brush. It could just, you know, be the brush. We could just need that little bit of extra moisture from the um, beauty sponge here to, to fix that. But it does, like especially around the nose and stuff, it looks dry right in that area. I do not like that. Okay, so we're going to take a little bit more, we're going to put it on our hand and try it with a sponge. So I'm going to do the same amount just because that that amount did that half the face. So we want to kind of even it out here. It kind of reminds me of mousse. I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be like mousse. Get your hair out of the face there. I'm not sure. Now I want mousse. I don't mean like mousse for your hair. I mean like mousse. You know, it's like pudding mousse. <laughs> So, we're just going to keep dabbing this on, and I'm going to do the same thing that I did uh, with the brush, which is just take my sponge and kind of dip it in the excess there. And now, we're going to take that sponge and buff it out. Make sure all the ends meet there. <laughs> Everything blends, don't have that crazy looking line there. All right, and then we're off to the forehead. It seemed like it took a lot less time with the sponge than it did the brush, but who knows? Okay, I, I'm a blender, okay? I'm like hardcore blender. All right, so upon closer inspection. Using the sponge, it definitely doesn't make my face look as dry as the other side, but I do not like the way that it is still making my face appear dry. Like, I have a lot of texture, and I don't. <laughs> so, I don't really I don't care for that. Like, I don't know. I don't really care for that part. But I will say that using the sponge, it does kind of give you a thicker coat of the makeup. Using the brush, it feels more like the brush kind of just soaks up all of the um, product. So I definitely would probably for sure use the sponge. Like I would recommend just doing that. So I'm just going to take what's left over on the back of my hand. Kind of even us out just a wee bit over here to make sure everything blends. And I don't look like I did my face with two different tools, even though I did. So we're just gonna even it out though. The sponge kind of helped this side a little bit, but to be honest with you, it just still looks really drying. It just, I'm not really liking that. Okay, so first impression, but I'm gonna see how the rest of my makeup uh, lays on top of it and applies. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face and then I'm going to come back and we're going to talk about this more in deeps. Okay, I am done applying the rest of my face and I really wanted to like this. I really did. Like halfway through I thought, oh, well this is going to work. And then when I got done with my face and looked at it, I was like, this is not going to work. For one, it gives my face so much texture and I apply the same amount, the same products that I wear every single time that I do my makeup and I just do not like the way that it looks with this foundation. I've been kind of playing around with a couple of different types of foundations here recently and one that I really seem to enjoy and I wasn't too sure about but um, I really do enjoy it is this Instant Age Rewind Eraser from Maybelline. I really do like that one. It kind of gives my face this nice glowy appearance, you know. But this one just does not. Like the glow you see here is obviously from products. But as far as just, it, it it's supposed to, okay, 
Now, let me remind you, this is supposed to be full coverage. I would say it's, I mean, if it's full coverage for a drugstore foundation, I would say that it is full coverage. Weightless feel, yes, but my face does kind of sort of feel a little dry. So I don't really like that. And it not only does it feel, but it kind of looks uh, dry. So I'm not really into that. Um, it's supposed to last up to 24 hours. I honestly, I'm not going to have my makeup on that long. Like if you have yours on that long, it's probably going to, you know, it, it's going to, it's going to take a beating. I mean, you, you touch your face, you drink, you know, you, you do things, you sometimes put your, you know, face on your shoulder. It's going to take a bit of a beating. So I don't really think that 24 hours, yeah, I, I don't think it's going to last that long. You know, and it's supposed to give you the natural look. I, would, I wouldn't say it gives you the natural look. I honestly think, you know, this, what you see here before you is achieved with, you know, a lot of other products. I don't think just by itself did it give me the natural look. Uh, texture, supposed to be lightweight. Yeah, coverage. Yeah, but um, it's supposed to help even out your skin tone and kind of, you know, help you have a seamless coverage and the pores and all that stuff i don't really think that it does that i kind of feel like it gets down in your pores which makes them appear larger and doesn't make you look that good when which hence makes you look like you have texture and then if you do have dry spots on your face which right now i don't because not too long ago i exfoliate it and i do that you know a couple of times a week and i mean my face is in really good shape i'm not having you know bad breakouts but it's just dry in certain areas. I don't really like that. I mean, when when you're up close talking to somebody, you don't want them going like, you know, if she if the wind hits her a certain way, that dry patch is gonna fly right off her face. You know, I just I don't like it. I just I wanted to like it. You know, I just I really did. And I like I said, I was unsure about the the color because of the packaging. My friend Lisa did send this to me, but I have um, looked at it and watched a couple of reviews and just you know I, I, I did my homework on it but you know there's some there's some people that like it and there's some people that don't like my friend Lisa she said that she didn't have a good time uh, with her so she was hoping that I would have a little bit better um, experience with it and honestly like, like I said I wanted to like it I just can't because I can see in the mirror I know it's hard for you guys to see I'll get a little bit closer so you can actually see it I know it's hard for you guys to see on this camera but right around this area here looks dry and it kind of feels dry and then right around my chin area as well and a little bit around my mouth like I just and my forehead like mainly I guess the t-zone I'm not I'm not really liking that I just I don't I just don't like it kind of has settled around my nose and I just don't care for it I I would have to say a no to this I would not repurchase this I wouldn't recommend it to a friend I just don't like it so yeah, and even with primer, you know, the other day when I got this, I did try a little bit on my face without any primer, and it still pretty much kind of did the same thing, and then today it just seemed like the same same issue, so I don't care for this product, I must say. I think I'll just stick with my, my old lady stuff, <laughs> but uh, I want to know what you guys, um, how your experience was, if you tried this, what you guys thought, your opinions, if you have another uh, foundation that you think that I would like or I should try out, let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, so if you guys have not tried this, you know, feel free to, to try it out, but for me, I would have to say it was a no, so sorry, but anyways, um, that is it. I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.